Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your JavaScript tutorial series and I am excited for this video and I bet you guys, especially if you came from the previous video, are dying to know what we're gonna be talking about. So we're gonna be talking about a gotcha with the arrow function. Now it's not that the arrow function is doing something incorrectly, it just gives us a result we might not be expecting or might not be what we're used to. So before we get started, I need you to check out our sponsor. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. Go click it. <laughs> Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? Dev Mountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through Dev Mountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, Dev Mountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. All right, so let's just go over a quick review of what we talked about in the previous video because we got a lot going on here and if you're just jumping in, it might take a second to digest. Basically, we created a very simple function. All it does is return this. We did it for an arrow function and then we did it for a normal function. And then we console logged the output. Looking at the output, we can see they both give us the window object. Then what we did is we created an object literal and attached those functions to this object and called the functions as methods. You can see that the arrow function, when called as a method, still gives us the window object. The normal function, on the other hand, gives us the object itself. And the point I was trying to make in the previous video is that the, the value for this, for arrow functions, does not change. It's permanent based on the value of this when the function is created. So when we created the function here, the value of this was the window object. And to confirm that, we can just console log this. Do a refresh and you can see right there. Awesome. So what about when we create a function, specifically an arrow function inside of an object? So we'll just do arrow test. And all this is going to do is the same thing. It's just going to return this. So I want you guys to predict what's going to be outputted. So we'll just say, so we'll just say functions dot arrow test and invoke it. So what do you think will appear down here at the bottom? Drum roll, please. All right, time's up, refresh. And look at that, it's the window object. Are you surprised? You may have expected since the function is being created inside of an object that the value of this would actually be the object instance, such as when we called this one here. But in fact, that's not the case. The value of this when this object literal is created is still the window object right here and this is going to blend in so <laughs> i'm just going to put a couple of exclamation marks there do refresh and look at this still the window object so when we call a normal function such as down here on line 18 we get the object itself because we're calling the normal function as a method and the value of this changes but when we actually create this arrow method the value of this is indeed the window object so yeah that's the gotcha i know it's not that crazy but Basically, you just need to be aware is that if you're using an arrow function as a method inside of some object, the value of this is not going to be that object. Now, before I go, there's one other good thing I thought I would share with you. If you want to see what the value of this is inside of this object, all you got to do is create a new property. So, for example, you can say this, this, that works fine. And put a comma. Now when we output the object here, you will see, let me do a refresh, the value of this is indeed the window object. That's why when we get to this function, the creation of it, this is the window object. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. Now in the next video, we're gonna be talking about bind with arrow functions and I think the result will surprise you. So be sure to check it out and don't you dare forget to subscribe. All right, peace.